How to Size Storefront Systems. Welcome to Building Knowledge 101. In this video, we will discuss how to analyze the key design elements of individual framing systems to determine which aluminum system dimensions are needed for every application. We get asked quite often, what is the maximum size or height of a storefront system? Well, it's driven by the vertical spacing and it's driven by the wind load. So there's really not a set limit to the height of a storefront system. But really, as kind of a rule of thumb, with a four and a half inch deep system, this is kind of your maximum elevation. So if we have a vertical that's 10 foot tall and spacing is five foot on center, if our wind load was, say, 20 PSF, if we look at the chart here, we're not meeting 20 PSF. This is this is meeting just 15. So this is kind of about, you're gonna have to go to a heavier wall section than the one illustrated here. This is about the maximum that a storefront system can be exposed to. So here's a six inch deep system. There are options to go from a four and a half to a six inch. So the six inch allows an architect to take a storefront elevation above that typical limitation of about 10 feet to possibly on up to maybe 14 feet, again, driven by the wind load. This elevation, you can see our verticals are 14 foot tall and they're five foot spacing. So on the chart here, where those two lines meet, we're meeting 20 PSF. So that's kind of a low number there. If you were 30 PSF, we wouldn't make it. But you can see there is the option of going to a six inch deep system that will allow you to reach some taller spans. Now, the next thing we want to check is dead load. You always want to check that. This is a pretty big line of glass here. So we're going to our dead load chart, and we've got a line of glass that's five foot wide and seven foot tall. So looking at those two lines where they meet on our wind load chart, that's telling us we have to move our setting block to a six point. So we're beyond the quarter point setting. You can see where the intersection line is, is to the right of the curve representing quarter point. So we need to move our setting blocks to six point. That is all we have time for in this video. If you'd like to watch more of our 101 video series, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Conair Company, Inc.